Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so this is the order of operation, right? We know exponents have high precedence first, okay, and then multiplication, division, and the remainder or the modulus operator, and then addition and subtraction. All right, so we have a math expression. I'm going to create a, a variable and I'm going to call it results just like the previous video. And I'm going to go ahead and do something similar to what I did, which was two, something similar to what I did in the previous program. So two plus six times two. Let's print out the result of, or that let's print out here the result of the, the variable result. Okay, so if we, <coughs> sorry, if we run this, we know that we're going to get 15 from our previous video because we know it's it's using the um, order of operation. We know multiplication has a higher precedence than the addition. So it tries and solves what's on the left and right of the multiplication sign, which is six plus, uh, sorry, six times two, which is 12. And then it adds 12 to two. That's why we get 14. But then you can use parentheses to kind of enforce or to kind of make, uh, create a higher precedence. So in, in actual sense, this list is actually parentheses first, right? Parentheses first over here. And just separate it. Okay, if there are no parentheses, then you follow this order. Right? But, but, but parentheses have a higher precedence than everything else. You can kind of enforce everything else, even though when you try to evaluate this, it's going to calculate or evaluate six times two first. You can, if, if you want two plus six to evaluate, first before six times two you can kind of surround that with parentheses and say that okay even though i know that you're going to evaluate six times two first now i'm kind of telling you to do this before you follow the natural order of operation or, or the natural order of yeah natural order of um, operations right when you surround something with parentheses you kind of say that okay this is much more important so tackle this first before you do anything else it's going to go ahead and tackle this two plus six first before going ahead to follow the order of operation even, right? So when you surround something with parentheses, you're saying, okay, do this first before anything else. You are putting that above everything else. Even, you know, even if it's a plus sign and you surround, surround everything with parentheses, you're saying do this before you do, um, or before you evaluate the multiplication sign or something like that. Because we know that the multiplication sign has a higher precedence than the addition, right? But when you surround it with parentheses, when you surround the addition over here with parentheses, you're kind of saying that, okay, give this a higher precedence, okay, than anything else before you continue your natural order of operation, right? So this is, again, similar to what we did in, or what we did in, in, my, in our math classes, right? So parentheses enforce, you know, uh, precedence. It kind of says, okay, put this first before anything else. When we run this, instead of getting 14, now it's going to try and tackle two plus six first, which is eight, and then eight times two will give you 16, right? It solves this first, which is eight, and eight times two is just 16. So when we run this, we get 16 instead of 14. But when we, remo when we remove the parentheses, right, then we're saying, okay, then follow, follow the natural order of operation, which means multiplication first before addition. But when we put back the parentheses, we're saying, okay, do this first before anything else. So that's why we get 16. Okay, so I hope this is, this is clear. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then, bye-bye.